Hi everyone, so great to have you here again for another aerial workout. And before we start, I saw there's already one person already greeting me, even before we started. Thank you so much. And greetings to sunny Florida. Well, so greetings back from sunny Portugal. Really happy to have you here. So I guess right now it's actually about one o'clock at your place, right? <laughs> so thanks for joining during lunchtime. Great to have you here. And just before we actually start with our today's aerial workout, I wanted to let you know that this class today has to be a tiny bit shorter than usual because right afterwards I'm going to hop in live in the event of Margie Party and going to do a second aerial class and afterwards we are going to do a really cool green life visualization and meditation exercises and then afterwards we also do some journaling so um, that's actually why I have to cut this class a tiny bit shorter than usual but don't worry it's still going to be a really nice class and it's still going to be strengthening and relaxing and in case you want to join me later as well like an hour uh, in the event of Margie where I will do the second flow and additionally the meditation um, I already posted the link online but maybe some of you haven't seen it so in case you want to to join, you just go on her website, so margieparty.com slash weekend, and you can actually get the details where you will find the event. There's also a cool Facebook group already online. It's called um, Aerial Goddess Training Weekend or similar, something like that. So you, this is actually the class where we go live later, like in an hour again, and um, you will also get the details and everything if you actually hop on the website magicproject.com slash weekend so you will get all the info and so cool uh, great thanks for joining the class today and hi from hi to paris uh, san francisco florida wisconsin and cheers to me uh, greetings and great to have you from hungary so we are going to start today's class, but I link my socks on and you can do so if you like as well. So we will actually start this class with something more relaxation and we really want to make sure that we balance your brain and really get you focused to flow in the class. So that's why we are starting with a short breathing exercise. So for the breathing exercise, just feel free to sit down on your mat. And you can either sit like me cross-legged, you could also sit on a chair and you could also lie down or sit in any position you like. Just make sure that you really sit nice and straight. And to really sit nice and straight, um, sit down, you can even sit in your hammock. And then get the shoulders up like this, roll them up like you want to push them on your ears and then gently roll them back and let them fall down and shake them out a bit. And that's how you usually get to sit in this correct position. And that's really important, especially for those who are sitting a lot, a lot of hours on the computer like I do. <laughs> so now before we start the breathing exercise, you can put the, this hand either resting on your knee or you can put it in the yeah, typical mudra every, <laughs> every yogi knows it. So feel free to do it like this or just have it relaxed on your knee. And with the other hand, you are going to have it in the Vishnu mudra because we're going to do some breathing exercises with the left and then the, left, the right nostril. So it's the ultimate nostril breathing to balance the left and right brain. So the creative to the structured brain to really balance it out. And it will also help everyone in case you have, um, have a cold to get the nostril breathing a bit more balanced as well. And for this, you can either just get these two fingers and then hold one nostril and then gather one close, or you actually do it in the correct mudra. So you actually have the hand like this, and then you just move those two fingers down 
Now you could even have kind of do this, so it's kind of rock, like rock star pose, but don't worry, you can just do it like this. So have the the middle finger and the, um, the actually the finger that points down, so you have it in this way, and then you're going to hold one nostril with this finger, and then the other one you can hold it with the ring finger. So like this, you can easily switch from one nostril to the other. So let's sit down before we start with the aerial flow and put it in the mudra or just hold the hands, yeah, the, the um, nose closed with one finger. And we are going to start with closing the left nostril or the right, whatever you want, just close one nostril. And you breathe in in one nostril. Then you hold your breath. So close both nostrils with these fingers or with any other finger. And then breathe out of the other nostril. And you know I, okay, sorry, I, keep, I sound a bit weird now because I close the nostrils, but that's fine. So breathe out with the other nostril. Then hold the breath again and breathe in with the same nostril. Now hold the breath, close both nostrils and breathe out with the other nostril. Now breathe in, in the right nostril. Hold your breath and breathe out with the left nostril. Breathe in, in the left nostril. Hold your breath and breathe out with the right nostril. Breathe in, in the right nostril. Hold your breath and breathe out in the left nostril. Breathe in the left nostril. Hold your breath and breathe out with the right nostril. Now continue in your own pace. Don't forget to sit upright. And with the next breath you breathe out, you can just remove the hand from the nostril and place it on your knee again. Now I hope you enjoyed the breathing exercise and it helped you to be focused and more within the president and attend the class right now. And if you want, you can always continue with this breathing exercise whenever you want in your life when you feel you need some peace, some balance, and you want to really balance out the left and right brain and also the breathing. And it will really help you to get the nose more clear if you have a slight cold. Um, now we are ready to start. So put off your socks. Make sure you don't have any loose jewelry hanging, so remove the jewelry. Make sure your fingertips, uh, your nails, hopefully are quite short or not too long, so we don't hurt our hammer. And for those who have any blood pressure issues or hernia or any bone weakness or any broken bones recently, um, please really feel what you are able to do and maybe also hopefully you have asked your doctor what kind of sports you are able to do and also if you have any high blood pressure or vertigo or any headache then please don't do the inversions with us so don't have your head hanging upside down usually everything else you can do and same applies to the pregnant women here in case they are so watching so let's start and 
for the start. Before we actually start, I'm going to check if you wrote anything. Okay. So I guess we are all ready to go. And this class today is a bit different because I had to make it a bit shorter. Sorry guys, but you will still enjoy it, I am sure. So what we are going to start with is actually with a recovery pose. So step back, have your hand up, supporting your upper back. And have the legs shoulder wide. Either open your arms or have them in this position behind your head. And we're going to start to lean from one side slowly to the other side. And when you go up, breathe in. And when you go down, breathe out. And feel free to do it with the eyes closed to really feel the movement and really flow with your breath. Now we are going to do it a few more times and when we are ready, we are going to step behind our hammock. Now get out of this position and step behind the hammock. Place your wrists and your hands on the hammock like this and fold your hands. Then step back in a shoulder weight stand. Lean forward and really trust the hammock to support you and have your weight, especially hold you and support you on your wrists. And lean from one side to the other side and you should feel a slight stretch in the side of your upper body. And try to move with your breath again. So breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Now you can continue in your own pace. Next time, actually have your breath in and then breathe out, you can come up slowly. When you get up, always make sure that you get up with your neck and with your head last. So whenever you have your head down, always make sure that you slowly go up vertebra by vertebra and then the head and the neck will go up last to really protect the neck muscles and your head because especially this part is really sensitive especially for everyone who is sitting around a lot and I guess many people actually were sitting around a lot uh, in the last couple of weeks. Next what we are going to do, you already know it, so just step behind your hammock, straighten your leg, make sure the, the fabric is above your ankle Fold your hands together, stay nice and tall, and then open the leg to one side. And we're going to do it for 10 times. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And whenever you do it, try to breathe out if you open the leg and breathe in if you go inwards and close the leg. So one, three, uh, sorry, now it's three, <laughs> four, five, six, nine, and ten. Now you can leave the leg in here, just place the hammer below your knee and we are starting with warrior one. So lean forward, have the leg that's at the back showing in front or just slightly towards the side, but don't have it really showing to this side, have it more pointing in this direction or slightly towards the side. If you have a good balance, you can either Fold the hands like this to go in the classical warrior one position 
Or you can also hold yourself here and breathe. Then slide into warrior two by turning the back foot out side, outwards, showing to the side, and have the hands pointing forward and backwards. Make sure they're in a nice straight line and look either on the fingertip in front of you or imagine an uh, yeah, imagine a goal or a target more in front of you in the distance. And don't forget to breathe. Then lean forward and still have the arms straight. And look up into the sky on the hand or just on the ceiling. Now grab the hand up above you and slowly go out of the movement and we are going to switch sides. So place the other leg in the hammock, make sure that the foot on the ground is still showing forward and then you can just hold high on the hammock, lean forward and if you like you can also point your toes and then again we are going in warrior one And the more you move forward, so the more you push forward with the foot that's on the ground, the deeper you will feel the stretch in your thighs. Now move out, move the foot upward on the ground and we are going in warrior two. And whatever you do, try to do it with your breath. So before we lean downward in the triangle pose, make sure that you breathe in and if you lean forward, then breathe out. So breathe in now and really breathe into your belly and then breathe out when leaning forward. Now look into the sky or on your hand and try to push a bit more with the back with the back foot that's on the ground so you will go in an even deeper stretch. Now imagine there's something pulling your hand upward into the sky and still the foot on the ground is pushing firmly into the ground. Slowly get out of this movement. And we are going into the dancer's pose. So you can stay here. Put the fabric above your ankle again. Then flex the foot. Hold it high. Jump forward so you're below the ankle point of your hammer. And then lean forward. If you lean forward, you can breathe out. So like this. And then engage your core muscles to really have a good stand and balance. Hold firmly with your hands onto the hammock and lean forward and push back with the leg that's in the air. So it shouldn't actually look like that. It shouldn't look like this. But for me, stay nice and tall, lean forward and begin push back with your leg. Now breathe out if you get out of the pose and we are going to switch sides. So put in the other leg in the hammock and then flex the foot, grab the hammock, jump forward and again pull yourself forward and push back with the leg that's hanging in the hammock. And don't 
engage the neck muscles. Just look down or a bit in, in the front, but don't really look up because we want to really still have the neck a bit relaxed. And if you engage your core muscles, the stand will be much easier. Slowly get out of the pose and we are going for a few moments in the child's pose. So go on the ground, make sure to have the hand exactly below your shoulder on both sides and then press in the mat with your fingertips and put only one leg into the hammock and then push back with your hands and put the lower arms and hands and your forehead on the ground and breathe. Now switch sides, so just put the other leg in the hammock as well and put down the leg that was just in the hammock on the ground and push back. Maybe you can feel a slight stretch in the leg. Now to get out of the pose, just sit on the floor, knee on the floor, then roll up slowly with the spine. Have your head still hanging down and then slowly get up your neck. When we're here, we are going into warrior three and for warrior three, you will hold on the hammock shoulder wide and you can already have your leg more like this so one leg is at the back of your mat the other foot is just hanging somehow in the air then you step forward with a big step the back foot is supposed to show in the front and also the foot that's on the ground then you lean forward and you let go of the back foot and that's going to hang in the air, pointing really straight. So don't have your foot to go, go up like this or down like that, but really try to have it straight. And if you engage both legs and also the foot that's on the ground and your arms and really pull yourself forward while the foot in the air is pulling backwards, you have to engage all the muscles in your body, including your core muscles, because it will give you more stability. And breathe. Now put the leg on the ground, and then we're going to switch sides. So the other foot is stepping forward. You lean forward and then Push back with the leg that's in the air and pull yourself forwards, lean yourself forward and breathe. Slowly get out of the pose and we are going into the tree pose. So for the tree pose, just choose one leg that steps in the hammock, bunch up your fabric, grab a pie, and go up. Then get one leg around the fabric and either put the leg above your ankle or above your knee. If you have more flexibility, you can also get one hand actually helping you. Really push in, in the leg to have it firmly pressing and it won't slide down. And then the same leg where the 
leg, uh, the same arm where the leg went around will go in front of the hammer and the other one will stay behind the hammer. So you will really be secure here and you can't fall down. And then you can either fold your hands and close your eyes. And those who want a bit of more challenge, you can straighten the leg and then have your, your um, hands actually grabbing on the toe. And you can either move the leg in front of you or you can also have it showing sideways. So choose the option that feels right. Stay here and breathe. Now to get out, you can either just go down or you can go for another stretch. For this, grab with the, with the arm where also your foot is in your hammock, slightly above your head. Then push the fabric away on knee level and make sure this leg that's in the air is pointing in the other direction than the other leg that's in the hammock. So push in the fabric and you can sit down like this and then we go down still with the leg in the fabric and hopefully you will feel a slight stretch in your hamstring. You don't have to engage the muscles up here, you can just hang out and enjoy the stretch. Then get rid of this foot and step in with the other foot to balance both sides. And again, go for the tree pose either on here, on here, or you can also stretch out your foot and then grab it with the free arm. And don't worry if the sides are different, that's totally normal. So maybe one side is more flexible than the other. Close your eyes and breathe. Now let go of the foot and either step out or grab your hammer, then push again into the fabric, sit down and then you can slowly slide out of the hammer with your foot still in here and have it, have it really straight so you can stay here and you can feel a slight stretch in the hamstrings. Now get out of this position and we're going to do an inversion. So straddle back, make sure to place the hammer like slightly above your bum. And I hope you already adjusted your hammer in case it's too low. So please make sure the hammer is in the right position. So it should be on your hip or slightly below or slightly above your hip, but not too far down. So not on your knee level or on your thigh level because that's too low. If you have it that low because you did some Aryan or Pilates, please adjust the hammock and hang it a bit higher. So it's a bit more adjusted like I have it. Then lean backwards, straddle back into the frog or the monkey pose. So wrap around both feet around, around the hammer. Enjoy the swing. Or stretch out a bit with your hands pushing into the floor. Or have your head, the hands backwards and really stretch them out to feel a slight stretch in the arms. Then grab the fabric above your feet, push 
with your legs and climb up into the goddess pose. If you want to do a split, feel free to do a split. Or we can just stay here and push the fabric away with one arm and point the toes and straighten the same leg where your hand is pushing the fabric away and stay really nice and straight in the ninja pose. And then breathe in again and breathe out where you push back the fabric with the other side. Now when you're done, you can just roll out of this movement either by going backwards again and then open the legs and slowly get out of the pose or you can go from the goddess pose just grab, pose, grab the hammer on one side lean forward and then slowly yeah, slowly open all your legs sorry guys, that can happen um, my uh, leggings is really slippery so that was not supposed to happen I am going to show it to you one more time um, so just kind of in here and when you are here in this position slowly open your legs because like what I did was a bit too fast and with the slippery leggings that's super slippery not like the normal sports leggings and the circ it can happen that you slide out so please make sure that you don't do any stupid stuff like I did but really make it slow and get out of the pose safe so when you are done with this um, we are going on the floor to have a nice stretch and just sit down and sit below the anchor point of your hammer and put in both wrists make sure that really the fabric is on your wrists so not too much up and don't just put in your hand because you want to make sure that the wrists are supported then roll around like this with the arms I'm going to show it again from the side so put in both hands with the wrists covered and roll the fabric around push down and then fold your hands and when we are in this position just lean back and relax your neck and if you want to have a bit more of a challenge you can have the feet and the legs in front of you then knee backwards flex the legs then push up you are in this position and you can straighten both legs so you are in the in inverted fish pose the extended fish pose if your feet is putting too much pressure on your wrists you can just stay in the kneeing position and actually just hang back like this or you can also flex both legs and stay in this pose but if you feel comfortable you can actually stay in the extended fish pose for this you really need to engage the core muscles the legs and also your arms and wrists so your neck is really relaxed now slowly sit again on the floor and then kneel down in front of the hammock or exactly below your hammock then roll the fabric again around and you can just lean forward like this so have the hammer pulling you upwards if you lean towards the front or if you have strong back muscles and cure muscles you can also lean down with your whole 
legs and the hips for this. Lean forward and have the legs slowly going on the ground until your hip is also lying on the ground in this position. Now only do this pose if you have strong core and back muscles. And breathe. To get out of the pose, make sure to engage the muscles in your arms and then also your core muscles and pull yourself up. Now stay in this position where your head is hanging downwards, then get rid of the fabric on your wrist and then the last thing that gets up is your head. Because make sure to always protect your head. Now you can stay in this pose where you just knee below your anchor point of the hammock. Put in the arms again like this. So you can just grab the fabric or you can also stay in the position where you roll in with the fabric again. And we are going to go in cow, but in the cat and cow position. To have a nice back stretch because I think especially now it's really nice to have a good stretch in the back because so many people are sitting at home. For this, just lean forward and then roll everything, make the back like a cat. If you breathe in and if you breathe out, go into the cow position so push out everything and make a really really round neck in the opposite direction and you can also face upwards so breathe in if you are like this and then breathe out and breathe in and breathe out when you breathe in really breathe in your belly and then breathe out slowly. Now you can continue in your own pace. When you feel ready, let your head still hang downwards and just get rid of the fabric of your wrists, shake out your hand and then slowly get up. Now, we still have a few minutes luckily before I have to switch the class. So now you can stay really nice and upright and tall. Make sure to roll the shoulders up again and then backward and just let them fall down like this. Step behind your hammock and then lean above your hammock and really feel the hammock supporting you on hip level. Just let yourself hang forward and if you need, don't worry if you flex your knees gently or you can also have them straight if you are able to touch the ground or even wrap the arms around the feet and then really lean forward a bit because the hammock will support you and hopefully now you should feel a slight stretch in the legs especially the lower part now to get out remove the hands from below your feet and then slowly roll up with your head coming up last and now you can start to sit on the ground or feel free to sit in your hammock just sit down cross your knees or you can also just stay here and knee 
up to you. And then we are going to just roll the wrists a bit in one direction because we easily forget about them and they are so important with computer work, with writing, and we use them a lot in aerial yoga and fitness. So roll in one direction and then change direction. And don't worry if it's easier in one direction than the other because it's totally normal. It's always like that. And then just let them wiggle them from left to the right side. Then place both hands on the knees, sit really nice and tall, and just let the head roll from one side to the other side in a circle movement. And always do it in one direction and try to move with your breath. So if you have your head going down, breathe out, and if you have your head going up, breathe in. Really try to make it nice and slow with your breath. Then slowly switch directions. And slowly lean forward and backward with your neck because that's also sometimes something we really easily forget the back, the neck, and also the wrists. Now when you feel ready, you can lie down in your hammock, you can sit on the ground, whatever you like. Maybe you also want to put on the socks again. And we are going to make a short ending meditation and those of you who want to join me in the second class, um, feel free to do so. I would really be happy to see you there again. And in the second class, we will also do a meditation. And it's actually like a 14 minute meditation to, to try, take you into your dream life and really feel and get the power and step into your full power to create your dream life. So this meditation is a bit shorter. So sit down or lay down in your hammock, have your back muscles and also your neck really nice and straight, close your eyes, imagine there's a string pulling you upward into the sky and then breathe. Just let your breath flow really naturally. And then take a deep breath in, into your belly and really fill up the whole body with, with some fresh air. Fill it up, fill your whole body up, up to the neck, up to the throat and then let it all go really slow. Now breathe in again in your belly, up to the throat and breathe out again. Breathe in again, into your belly, up to your throat and out again. Now enjoy the silence or the birds just focus on any sound or the silence around you and let it go of any thought that comes up. Just push the thought away very gentle like it's a small leaf floating on a river or a cloud passing on a blue sky and focus on how your body feels right now. Maybe there's some itching, maybe some tingling, maybe you feel nothing. 
everything is totally fine. If you feel any pain or tension, try to focus on this point in your body and breathe in this tension. Now take a deep breath in, up to your belly, into the throat, fill it all your body with fresh air and then breathe out. Again, fill in your whole body with fresh energy and fresh air. And breathe out again. Breathe in again. Fill your whole body with fresh air. And breathe out again. Now slowly wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. Feel free to just do any movement you feel your body needs to. For example, roll your shoulders back. Maybe roll your head slowly from one side to the other. Maybe stretch up your arms or stretch out your legs if you have been lying. And then slowly open your eyes. And now I would like you to thank you for joining me for the session today and give yourself also a big thanks for joining the class and taking the time for yourself. So thank you so much for joining. Namaste. And if you have any questions, any feedback, like anything, um, feel free to put it in the chat and I would really love to create more classes that suit really your actual need. So if you think you need any movement, like maybe more the legs or even the feet or the hands, if there's any focus point or any tension at some certain point in your body or you feel you're a bit unbalanced, anything, just feel free to put it in the chat and I would love to actually create some more flows like aerial flows and meditations and breathing exercises that really let go of all the tension and really strengthen your body especially where you feel needed right now so thank you again for joining and hi Katrin greetings to Germany and so that's the class for today now maybe you want to join me again for another class right now I'm going to hop in, in the group of Mighty Party for the event of today. Um, and those who won't join me now, <laughs> um, then you can just actually either join Tini and me, she's also watching right now. You can either join our class on Friday, it's with flips and tricks and it's more aerial fitness, or you can join again in on the Sunday class next week and then, then it's again one full hour and I'm going to change around a bit the flow. I will add some new stuff and keep some old stuff. And if you have any poses you especially enjoy, just feel free to put it in the chat or email me the post you totally enjoy, so I will try to keep it. Or otherwise, I will just flow around a bit and move stuff around a bit again, like I did today a bit, and see what I come up with. <laughs> So thank you for joining. Thank you, Samantha, for your feedback. And I'm wishing you a really beautiful Sunday evening or Sunday, yeah, the full day maybe. You can just stand a bit ahead of you in the US and wishing you a fabulous week and hope to see you again later on today, on Friday or Sunday. Bye guys and namaste.